Hello world, this is Lisa Fredrickson, your friend and computer science professor with another short screencast about access. And this time we're going to talk about lookup tables. And this goes back to one of the earliest videos in this series in that I stated that a good relational database minimizes the amount of redundant data. And we just imported nine new employee records into the employees table. And we've noticed that these titles are very similar between the employees. We're going to work with this title field and show you how to create a lookup field so that every time a new employee is hired, we don't have to type in sales representative or sales assistant or inside sales coordinator or sales manager. We can just have all of these different values on a drop-down list that we can select from. Users love drop-down lists. Why? Because they make data entry fast and accurate. So how do we take those titles and make it into a drop-down list of available options? And that's with a lookup table. So here's how it works. First, we have to get a list of the unique entries in the title field. So I'm going to create a query in that employees table and pull down the title field and just look at it in data sheet view. And here are our 19 employees with our 19 different titles. If I go back to design view and I use my totals button and group by the title field, then I will have only one entry for each unique. I can also count those titles just to see which title has the most entries. Sales representative, we have 12 employees with that title, three with sales assistant, two with sales manager, one with inside sales coordinator, and one with the vice president of sales. We really don't need that information right now. All I need are those individual titles. Then I'll use my make table button to make a table, and I have called titles. Or sometimes it's common to prefix these workup tables with LU so that I can easily sort and find them in the navigation window. So I'll go ahead and do that, LU titles, okay and I'll run that query. I'm about to paste five rows into a new table. I'll click yes, and I don't need to save this query, so I'll go ahead and just close it without saving. Now I've got this LU titles table here with all the unique entries for the title field. Now how do I connect that to the employees table? Well, I connect that to the employees table by going to design view, clicking the title field, and I can either invoke the lookup wizard here or I can go to the lookup tab and modify those properties myself. Lookup wizard modifies the properties on the lookup tab. The first one being the text box display control. Now we want a combo box. And Access uses this term combo box to mean a combination of a text box and a drop down list. You probably just call it a drop down list, but technically to Access, that is a combo box that you can both type in new entries as well as pick from a list. With other properties, we can say, we do not want the text box prop. We do not want to allow the user to type in a new entry. We only want to have them pick from the list. But technically, those controls are called combo boxes in Access because they're a combination of a text box and a list. I'm gonna go ahead and use that lookup wizard and then see how these lookup properties are modified with the wizard by invoking it here. And there's two options here. The wizard creates a lookup field which displays a list of values you can choose from. How do you want the lookup field to get its values? Now we can ask that lookup field to get its values from another table or query. In other words, a list is going to be populated by another table, and that's what I've created with the LU titles table. Or you can directly type in the values that you want. If you type in the values that you want, then you'll see those values in one of these properties, the row source property down here. It's better to go ahead and put your values in another little lookup titles table as I did so that you can easily add to that later if you want. I'm going to go ahead and say, I want the lookup field to get the values from another table or query. Next, which table or query contains those values for the list? Well, I just created it, the LU titles table. Next, and which fields do you want? Well, there's only one field. I will choose it, the title field. Next, yes, sorting and ascending sort by title would be great. Next, and here it's showing me the option in ascending order. Next, what label would I like for my lookup field? Well, the field name title is great. I do not want to allow multiple values that would break my rules of relational database design where one field contains one and only one value, and I'll click finish. Now, when I look at my title field in data sheet view, I get this excellent drop down list with the five unique values that I can use quickly add a new employee. Now right now it is a true combo list. So 
So I'll go ahead and enter in John Smith and give him a title of XYZ, and that is totally acceptable at this point in time. I'm going to go ahead and delete that record because we really don't have that new employee. But again, if I go back to design view and I click on that field and go in and look at these lookup properties now, it's the combo box. I'm getting my values from a table. Here's my QL statement that says grab the title field from the LU titles table and sort it by title. If I say limit to list, yes. Now, when I enter a new record, I'll try Jane Smith this time and XYZ. And no, I am not allowed to use this as a combination Xbox and list. I can only use it as a drop down list. And I'm going to escape out of that. Do not enter that record. Finally, the great thing about pulling out your values for a drop down list into their own little lookup table is that you can then add to that. And I will add a new title of sales intern, close the titles table, open up the employees table, and now my sales intern is on my list alphabetized with the rest. It's the big benefit of pulling all of your lookup list values out into their own little lookup tables that you can use these lookup properties and quickly add new entries to the list should you need it. That lookup titles table now participates in a one-to-many relationship with the employees table. One title can be associated with many employees. So let's look at that in the relationships window. And if I click all relationships, when I use the lookup wizard, this lookup titles table and this relationship was created. I do not see the key beside title though, so I'm going to go into table design I'm going to go ahead and set that as the primary key field. And as soon as I do that, then I can go ahead and enforce referential integrity on this relationship. That's just one more layer of protection so that a title does not get entered in the employees table that is not first made available in the LU titles lookup table. Thank you.